Jason, we're here at FT Gearing, a, a, a great Mazak user. In fact, they've, they've branded their machine shop in your, your colours and your identity, so you must be doing something right. This is the latest purchase, the i100. Yeah. What is this machine? What's it going to do for them? And what's the gentleman behind us doing? Yeah, well, the, guy, the gentleman behind us at the moment, he's currently uh, going through the installation process of this machine. Um, the, part, the component that's going on this machine, we know very, very well. Um, there's another customer that's got one of these machines that's doing exactly the same part. So um, it's, it's a good customer of Graham's as well. So um, we understood the application quite well. It's, it's not just about the machine tool on this one. It's about the ancillary equipment and the process. It's about the process on this machine. Okay, we'll come, we'll come to those points shortly, but before we do that, let's set the scene with what the actual machine is. I mean, I'm guessing two spindles milling. It's a one-hit machining yeah. cell. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're on the Integrex platform. Um, it's a full five axis, simultaneous Integrex. It, it's the baby of, a, of the bunch of Integrex, an I-100, typically a six-stroke, eight-inch chuck machine. 52 millimeter bar capacity, uh, full contouring B-axis on there. We've geared this machine up with 72 tools. So we've got the ability to have sister tooling in there. We can take that over 120 tools if required. Mm. It's the next step on, isn't it, from a sub-spindle lathe with maybe driven tools. There's a lot more flexibility there in what this can do for the company. Yeah, yeah, and it's important. If we look at the, the axes on, on, on this machine with the head one and head two, it's important that this, the synchronization is there on this machine. You know, it's picking up the part from head one to head two, and the accuracy it's got to pick that part up in uh, is, down to, is down to microns. Uh, can you do full five axis machining on here as well? Could you treat this in, in a lot of senses like a, like a five axis machining centre? Yeah, I mean, this is a full five axis machine. The part doesn't call for full five axis, but some of the positions on, on, on the component, it, it's got true positional tolerances on there as well. So. Um, talk to me about the ancillary equipment then and what, what we're actually doing here and what we're going to see. Yeah, well, the machine, the machine tool be, is the machine tool. So then we've got to look at uh, how we can control stability within the machine tool. So we've gone for a very high level swarf management system, uh, which gives you 70 bar uh, switchable coolant on there. But also we've got to put chillers uh, within the coolant. So we can, we're maintaining the ambient temperature within the machine. The, the part is tied up to a tight tolerance. So it's important that we actually bring probing into play during the manufacturing process. So we have to come in and hit so many critical features to ensure that we're achieving the capability. But you said earlier to me as well, you've got four probes on here. Why, why is that? Yeah, so in some instances, and particularly with this application, we probably have to use around about three probes on this part because the stylus on the probe is different to get into those features in the bores. So you might have to use a standard stylus, a dog leg probe. So the RMIQ, uh, Renshaw RMIQ that's equipped with the machine will give us the ability to house up to four probes within the machine. And you can house them in the, in the tool carousel, which I can see here. If I look at this machine from an operator's perspective, it's very easy access, isn't it? It's, it, 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 it? It all seems like whoever's developed and designed the Integrex has done it around the ergonomics and the ease of operation. A absolutely, it's, it's about everything being at the front of the machine. The operator can access the tooling, um, the controls on a swivel panel as well. Uh, it's a very neat design. Uh, whenever we design a machine, it's all about the footprint of the machine, getting everything within that minimal footprint and the ergonomics for the operator.